very good once he finds an opening. But finding that opening against Paul Tena, that's where the challenge comes. Yeah. And it looks like it, it looks like got empty cat is going up with the Palo Tena, right? Oh uh, interesting. Yeah. Smash build. This would be my first ban if I were Gato. I, I've beaten him very few times, Gato. He's he's been one of my bracket wow. demons. Wow, okay, and, starting off strong though. And when I beaten him, it's been in Smashville. It'll be yeah. it's Game and Watch's best. It's okay, right? But yeah, well, Empty Cat is doing pretty well, actually, on this particular stage. Maybe he has grinded, grinded up the matchup signs that loss, I don't know. But he looks pretty confident in this specific situation. He's trying to catch up with the upper, and that oh, is going to kill Oh, that's so him. dangerous no, for no, Game & Watch. Yet. And the projectiles from Palutena, uh, she doesn't care if, if she gives him a bucket, because they are all multi-hits, and the bucket will be super weak. It will kill out, like, 130 at ledge. Oh, that oh, bucket, wow. so it's not too useful. Uh, yeah, that's a horrible bucket. <laughs> it is a horrible I mean, bucket. Did you see? That's yep. why Ed throws it out yeah, like, straight you know, away. He, because he just doesn't care. Right? It's better as a defensive tool than an offensive like, tool in yeah. this matchup. Okay. So, yeah. Because and that back throw is going to be enough, and Empty Cat is looking so confident. Look, now he, he has the lead, and he can just slow up the pace and keeping keep the whip punish game on Ed's, right? Like, yeah. it is so hard, like, Ed's hot. Ed, Ed has right now to do the commitment. And I think that one of the problems with this matchup is you can't play your usual game on watch plan because uh, Paulo Tena will beat everything in the air. Yeah. Uh, no. If you try to land with a back air, you'll get dash attack. If you th try to throw out an air, it will lose against her nair or her back air. I, yeah. I imagine that, that nair just eats up the bomb too, right? It yeah, eats it sure. up, it's, yeah, it's everything. Totally and the dash disappear. attack too, and yeah. everything eats up the bomb, so. Yeah, uh, like, when you're facing Palutena, you have to keep your, keep up your ground. Like, I know that Palutena, it's pretty good on wow. the ground. Okay, good, ground. good on Ed, though, avoiding that ledge trump. Yeah, but like Palutena, it's good on the ground, but it's not his best, right? Mm -hmm. And I think that particularly Game & Watch struggles a lot to keep the toe-toe against Palutena. On Very the nice bomb, no, but it, oh, that's it not going to be enough. <laughs> And the thing here is that I saw Ed was trying to two frame him with the uh, with down smash. That's gonna be very difficult to do. So Palutena is very difficult to pin two. down with a two frame. It's better if you try to make it, maybe leave a, an active hitbox in the ledge where she's going to teleport. Very good that here from Ed though. Finally takes that first stock off of Empty Cat. It's gonna be a steep, steep hill to climb for Ed at this point. Look at this. Whenever Ed jumps first he loses the interaction. That's something he needs to be very careful of. Uh, Game & Watch likes to approach with Nair. If if Empty Cat can uh, wait you out and react to your approach with Nair, you're, you're oh, done. Yeah, oh, that, could be. That, that upper hitbox is just huge and it is straight up, straight up bit the downer. Though. Yeah, the downer will lose every time unless you hit her straight in the center of the head. Yeah. And before the last hitbox comes out. Yeah, if the exactly. last hitbox comes out, you will lose anyway. Yeah, you're done. Because that hitbox is huge. I don't know, guys, if you know that hitbox, but look yeah. it up from Ultimate from ultimate Frame Data. It's among us. Uh, hitbox. That backward is not going to be enough. Uh, no, there is oh, a nice bucket. It's there's very good to free up some pressure. Yeah, from the, but, but that's so good. Okay, the nice bucket, bucket, the bucket the may not be good, but... It's well, still he get, Yeah, he could get back uh, on stage. Oh, no, no, so yeah, he had to spend that, one, that beat. I was going to say he could get back on stage. Didn't look like he got back on stage there, unfortunately. Yeah, that was uh, a commentator's yeah. curse from the future because you hadn't finished your sentence yeah. just yet. Yeah. But, yeah, guys, and I mean, I've, I've said everything why this matchup's challenging for Game & Watch, but it is not impossible at all because Game & Watch still has that kill power. Actually, the, the nerf to Palutena where the, they nerfed her standing grab, it made it a lot no. better for Game & Watch because if you space your back air correctly and if you space your down smash correctly, she shouldn't be able to punish you because Game & Watch's low profile will prevent him from getting hit by the nair and the grab will not reach him. So that's, if he wants to, if Ed wants to pressure Empty Cat, that's where he, he wants to do, but he needs to be very careful with those nairs. And we're coming in, in the same stage. I am concerned about the the bans from Empty Cat from the stages, right? Well, it yeah. worked for him, so... Yeah, I mean, he won on Smashville. I mean, uh, Hetra said this is Game & Watch's best stage. It uh, looks like he 
although he's been able to do it. Yeah, he nice fair train there from yeah. Anticat, and <laughs> we're up for alls. Something I really like about Ed, though, as a player, is his alt switches. You know yeah. how, how he, <laughs> yeah, yeah. he switches he never, up his colors, you know? Mix, he mix never plays up a little two bit. games in a row with the same skin, right? <laughs> It's uh, it's a nice thing that gives him personality, you know. I yeah. think that he he did play, he did repeat it once, but he had like three stock in yeah. the previous game. <laughs> so he just oh, oh and nice. this is a stock. That's what yes. he means. That kill power, dead at 76, mm -hmm. right? And I mean, I think Luma King would be the only person to mash out of that uh, <laughs> and save himself. But uh, yeah, I think that in general, you know, people say I've got a lot of experience against Palutena, right? But there aren't that many Palutenas on empty cast level. Yeah, I, I'm sure. not sure if there's any in, in Honduras. I'm, I'm sure there are some good Palutenas, but I don't think there's an empty cat. So Ed needs to adjust to that. He will get punished harder wherever Game & Watch uh, struggles in this matchup. Oh, yeah. that down smash almost hit it. But it's looking pretty good for Ed right now. Like He has a pretty comfortable lead. He has this positioning from the, yeah. the stage. Holding center stage under the platform. That's yeah, that is so be. important, for, especially in this particular stage that it's so small, right? Yep. And I think that the chef he threw there, uh, he only threw a single bacon that was more to bait an approach for a MP cat and it worked very well. Oh, nice, nice. jab nice. check. It has some nice little interactions there. Yeah, that jab check was pretty cool, actually. And we have a nice grab from Anticat, but he's not biting the, those 50 50 from the grab. Yeah, no. like, he's, he's on point with that reaction, right? Oh, the yeah. jab is him? Correct the eye. If you do DI out, there shouldn't be enough time for yeah, her exactly. to reach game and watch. Nice. I like. I love the patience from Ed. Oh, nine! Nine! nine. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty safe to ch challenge that for Anticat because the yeah. is so huge. Mm -hmm. And it is intangible, right? So nice, but yeah. it's online. Again, it will, it might kill on ledge at this percentage. So uh, MTK better watch out. However, he can now safely press with the with the projectiles and okay, uh, yeah, that's why he you need to throw it out because if not, nice, very barely. nice for to chair. If not, uh, MTK to just throw projectiles to stun your yeah. uh, recover uh, your approach and. And Ed is being on point with that parry, with those parry punishes, right? Like I saw early in the in the bracket that he took a few stocks against Spartan with a parry to down tilt, a parry to F tilt. Like he was, he's playing on point with that. And, and against Hunter's Ike yesterday, yeah, such yeah. a tough matchup. He does like to parry a lot, and he's very good at that. Yeah, exactly. That's oh. a pretty good sign from the game, from the game from Ed, right? And. Now Empty Cat is struggling to land, and nice, that backer will do it. But I love the uses from that all nice. that funny. That's so good from Ed, and he's sitting in a pretty good lead, actually. Nice grab, and nice, yeah, he's basically in a kill percent, in a kill percent right now. And the advance push will be it for, for Empty Cat. That's very good. The fair, if you do it at yeah. full hop, uh, full hop uh, height, and you drop the bomb, and the opponent holds shield, it's basically a it's guaranteed stuck. grab. Yeah, it's, it's a guaranteed grab. There's I, I, nothing I, I, I remember the, the Gimmer video, uh, right? That he did yeah. if you drop off plaid, drop the bomb, you can get the, the free grab. Yep, that's right. Nice, nice after. Again, another parry from Ed. Yeah, a nice side B from Antica catching up the, the aggressive chef on the ledge. Definitely a lot closer this game. Um, yeah, sure. seems like Ed has been able to adapt. Uh, he's, I, I really like how solid he's been just in general. Um, with the bucket, um, watching out for empty cast projectiles, um, and the adaptation from one game to another. Right? Yeah, just uh, just overall good gameplay, and this is what we're here for, you know, to exactly. admire this. Nice backer. But look at this. Empty Cat's very good, very good at slowing down a game that's going against him. Uh, oh, what that? that's it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And you curse he, Empty Cat. He just cut the brakes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you're not slowing this down. You are dying right now, mister. So I don't think we're going to see Smashville again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah probably not. Um, Empty Cat but should consider <laughs> to ban Here comes this the time. topic of the lifetime. 
it is so hard to contradict Antica because, because he has so many good characters. Like, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if we see the violet right now, for example. But I know for a fact that he really likes how Palutena works in this game. He feels like he can really control the pace, That, but he needs more space. That's why Smashville is, and that's good. However, interestingly enough, the other one that people would say, would argue that it might be Game & Watch's best stage is Battlefield. And yeah, that's but, a pretty good act. But that's... Game and Watch wants to ban that yeah, against exactly. Palutena. I'm Every sure character that wants to yeah, ban that against Palutena. It might be yeah. good for Game and Watch, but it's also amazing for Palutena. It could right? be those the best extensions, thing for Palutena. Those extensions are scary. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Game and Watch bans that. It's one of the few characters he will ban that against. Yeah, I can see it. And well, I think that this stage is particularly very neutral, right? In this match, with, like Empty Cat has. Both of these characters have the platform extensions. Oh my god, looking for the nine. But yeah, he has more space to play around like we are watching right now, but he has more space to maneuver. Nice teleport cancer yeah, into the but, uh, but you know, the platforms aren't as good for Game & Watch as Battlefields are, uh, because, because the way they're positioned, a little bit uh, yeah, it, it uh, auto-cancels the Nair before you actually want to auto-cancel it, uh -huh. and it stuns his combos. It doesn't work as with small Battlefield or Battlefield. Nice dragon nice, with yeah. the Nair. Yeah. Nice jab bucket. That's yeah, the true. jab, so he could uh, he dropped shield. Very smart from from Ed. And we are in a and we're even. Yeah, we're basically even. And I think that this game is so important. Right? Like having the advantage on the counter pick from the stage, it is so good for, for this particular event. Definitely is. Uh, and now you really don't want to be up top. Uh, Game & Watch uh, can die at any moment from those uppers. I can't tell you how many times I've died early to yeah. you can even, uh, uppers. And you cannot even challenge that upper, right? Like it's, it's too huge of a yeah. risk. Because, I mean, you might think, yeah, I'll get her right in the center of the head. But if, if she's not, drifting, yeah. if she's drifting, she will make it very difficult for you yeah. to hit that. Uh, like not a lot of characters can actually challenge that up right? well, th th there's a few there's a few but yeah. definitely palutena's she doesn't only have the hitbox but she also has the air mobility and air yeah. acceleration and, and there nice you go catch up with the upper yeah you, you can throw up these like crazy against palutena because she will punish you for it yeah she's so fast that he can actually punish you even before like you're able to move so nice Nair, nice catch with wow. the upper right now, and he has such a good juggle. And it's back on the field, but he is taking so much damage at this stock, and he needs to basically delete both stocks of Empty right yeah. now because he's in such a dangerous percent. Like well, he, uh, he can get checked with a um, down throw the I makes of right. And uh, this is so, so scary for Game & Watch right now. Uh, Game & Watch is a character that always has a chance to come back because, you know, 9. But, you know, you can depend on that yeah, to win exactly. a game. You're depending on the RNG. So, let's see how does, how does Ed oh, handle wow. this. That was a that pretty was a good grab. Yeah. Amazing movement and grab that from was, uh, MP Cat. He tried to do a pivot grab in place. Um, yeah. You can that, do that. Yeah. Yeah. You can, you can do that to... against Pablo. Yeah, you cannot. Do every that. every time I see that, I'll smash. And you're charge. dead. Nice bird. I, that's I'm, surprised. Very good. I'm surprised that that connected. Actually. It's super easy to two frame uh, game and watch as Pablo Tena. Really, yeah. you gotta super mix up your timing. You gotta wait out the down tilt and then throw out the the yeah. up B. Mm -hmm. Because if you're just throwing it, uh, she will she will throw out the down tilt and she will kill con uh, kill con. Yeah, because you every that time. down tilt is so up, right? It is so active, and if it doesn't put place you right at, at a perfect height for a backer of a fair, like in this case, it will kill you on the side because that yeah. down tilt's just crazy. Yeah. One of the better, one of the best. Hey, is Ed going back to Smashville? Let's see. Yeah. Did he not ban it? Did Empty Cat uh, not ban yeah, it? I'm, I am actually, I am actually surprised about As that. Smashville, yeah. it is. And now I am really concerned. <laughs> Which stage? Which stages are are empty cut? It is empty cut ban right now. Like I am not sure really. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't ban Battlefield if I were him. Yeah, no. Uh, sure. Maybe FD. Could be FD. Maybe he doesn't like FD for some reason. Uh, it might be a bit difficult to come back from this advantage, uh, what given how good it is at juggling. Town and CD would be good for Palutena actually. 
I would think. But, well, it's kind of a double-edged sword, again, exactly. because Palutena will mostly kill you um, up uh, towards the upper blast zone, and uh, Game on Watch will try to kill you from the side, so down yeah. Town and City can be double-edged. Nice grab from Empty Cat and catching oh, up the yeah. air. You don't like want to waste so your air dodge yeah. early there. Like he is in his head right now. But this is still pretty. I mean, this could be even in a second. So yeah, this is far from over actually. This game is just just as. Yeah. And let's see. You cannot do that, and that backer is not gonna be enough. But not you are. Do it just yet. Yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah. In such a bad position. Oh, nice. That's back it. Throw. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, but Ed was very good at waiting out the down tilt this time. Yeah. However, sure. yeah, Empty Cat was ready for that and reacted with the pivot grab. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that, okay, oh, you oh. can play around the, the back and, and the down tilt, but Palutena has such a good kit that he can kill you. She can kill you with anything <laughs> in that position, right? Yeah, especially if you're game on watch, right? Exactly. So light. So light. Um, well, we're watching this. Like, Eptica did this at the first game, right? Like, he was playing so aggressive on the first stock. He took the advantage and then he slowed the, per the pace and forced Ed to approach him. It's so difficult to take uh, center stage in, in this matchup yeah. once you've lost it, right? Yeah. And uh, Empty Cat has been really good at keeping a hold it, of it. To me, it feels Big like bomb. Ed's been off stage for at least 30 seconds of this yeah. And he is now in a kill percent. Nice uh, job from the uh, One of the next bears on Palu's side is sure to kill at this point. Yeah, exactly. Okay, oh, so with the key down, nice, nice mix-up. It becomes yeah, because, a waiting game with a down kill. So. And a nice mix-up on the recovery. He's been looking Super for the ledge earlier. This Ed. time he yeah. held down. <laughs> and, now, and now he's at... Exactly. The moment he shine against, to, against Empty Cat, like playing that position mm. in the stage, and here's... And that yeah. was the, the reward, right? This isn't this isn't impossible to make back. No, for sure not. Like we can expect a nine. Eight, nine. Wow, <laughs> he was looking, was looking for it, right? He was looking for a shield break there. If you yeah. throw an upper, they shield it, and you throw a three or, or a nine, they it will nice. break shield. Very very good. Get off of ledge. Yeah, for uh, sure. The bucket in this matchup. It is. It is as uh, empty cat like to throw those is that side piece. Yeah, yeah, it is definitely. And this could be. Oh, oh nice with it. He's going for the great equalizer there. Didn't get lucky, but that must have shook uh, empty that cat was, right yeah, there. That was, sure. that was such a, I mean, didn't get too much from him. Maybe some mental damage. Yeah, ju <laughs> just imagine like, if that would be a knife. Like, that would be an, yeah, an amazing raid. Yeah. An amazing raid. An amazing, and, and something about Ed too is that he he's not afraid to throw out that. Uh, and that's that. not going to be enough, but you're in two frame. Oh. oh. And that time, uh, Palu did delete lay the the um, the ledge snap for a yeah. second so i thought it was about to hit nice back from it was so guy. lucky not to get the bury with that down mm -hmm. smash but again he keeps going for those uh two frames oh, and they're gonna the be smash. very difficult i feel like i mean uh, uh empty cat shield was suffering there that up smash i think it yeah that was a right? ballsy grab from empty cat right that wow up almost got him oh again actually. recovering high and down smash holding those <laughs> <laughs> Those smash attack, it's so menacing when a game and watch just said, Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay here, I'm gonna charge my stuff. Yeah, and shout outs to Empty Cat for being patient and aggressive nice when he needed, right? Oh, uh, nice. that's gonna so be good. it. Yeah. He, he knew Great. that he was oh. gonna jump. I think a fair was coming from Mr. Game and Watch. That, that move takes a while to come out and empty cat. Such just, a good yeah. read too, like saving your hard punishes for when you really need them.